Hi there, I'm Simon Hurley, Ranger's newest signature designer, and I'm here at scrapbook.com sharing some really fun ideas using my new Simon Hurley Create product line. In this lesson, I'm gonna share how to use my inks to do ink smooshed backgrounds that are really fun and colorful, and also use my ink to kind of create some watercolored images. So let's get started. So let's start off with this playful kind of inked watercolor background. I just love all the colors in this and it creates a really unique background every time. So I'm using a piece of my stark white cardstock here that I've cut down to card base size, which is four and one fourth by five and a half inches. And that's gonna fit perfectly on my card. And then I'm going to go in with a couple different colors. I'll take some bee sting. I'll go in with a little bit of slippery when wet. And I'll also bring in some clear skies. Now this is just what I usually start with because I know these colors are going to mix together nicely. However, I'll probably add a couple colors later on in the background. So for this, I'm just going to take my Distress Sprayer and you can spray it as many times as you want. Now just remember the more you spray it, the lighter the color will be. So if you want a more saturated background, add a little bit less water and you'll get some more vibrant colors. So then I'll go in with my cardstock here. You can dip it into some of those colors. You can see that really vibrant color on the surface there. Then I'll bring in some yellow. And I'll just kind of continue to dip it into the background until I'm happy with what I've created. So once I have a background that I like, I'm going to grab my heat tool and I can quickly go over top of this and heat that ink. You're going to want to heat set in between each layer of your ink. Otherwise, you're going to get kind of a blended mess. And all those colors together, when you keep mixing them, kind of tend to create mud. So you want to dry in between every layer to make sure you keep that nice bright color. Now you could totally stop here. I love this background, kind of how it mixes together. Almost looks like some Superman ice cream. But I'm going to kind of keep dipping it right into that color there to create more texture and color onto the background. So I'll go into some of those other colors you can see. I'm starting to get some spots there. And it kind of re-reactivates with the ink that's beneath it. So it'll keep reacting and creating new colors when you add more color over top of it. So I'll go in here, I'll heat set this area too to make sure that's nice and dry. And then once I'm done with this color, I'm going to kind of remove it from the mat. You could totally create another background with it, but I find that once the color gets super mixed together, it doesn't really look great anymore. So I'm going to go into this background. I'll use a little bit of overzealous. I love this color to kind of brighten things up. It's that really vibrant green color. And then I'll spray that over top, and I'm going to just add this right into my background there. So I can dip that into some areas of the background to create some really awesome extra color onto there. And again, I'll heat set this as I'm building up my layers to make sure that everything stays nice and contained and super bright colors. I can add a little bit more water to this and add a little more in if you want some of those water droplets on the surface there to create some more texture. Then I usually finish off the backgrounds with a darker color. So here I'll go in with that dark teal remember me color. I'll add just a little bit of that onto my mat and then I'll spray this down. And then I'm going to just add that right into some different areas and kind of tap lightly to add some of those drops onto some of the areas of my background. And once that's complete, I'll finish off heat setting this. And then I'm going to be done adding ink to this background. I find once you like the background, stop because if you keep adding layers, you might not like how those layers kind of add on top of your background already. So once you like it, call it a day and you can continue working on the rest of your card. So I've stopped adding more ink onto the card, but that doesn't mean I can remove some of the ink. So my ink pads kind of re-react at all times, so it's always going to react with water, which I think is super fun because if an ink is permanent and you don't have that play time, if you don't love the background and you can't continue to lift off colors and create more of that background. So I'm going in here with this backsplash stencil. I'm going to lay that on top of the surface there, and then I'll take my Distress Sprayer, and I'm just going to go in here and spray that several times to kind of lift off some of that color. You can see some of that is reacting already. Then I'll add a little bit more in this corner and you can kind of keep lifting that around and adding some more water through the stencil. And this is just going to create that really subtle design in that background there. It's not going to show up too much, but it'll lift off some of that color to create a lighter color beneath it and create some more texture for this background. So I'll go in here and heat set this as well. And as you heat set it, it continues to lift off that color and get a little bit lighter underneath there with the water. So once I'm done drying that, you can see that really cool dramatic effect that it creates when you add that water there. And it just adds some more layers and texture to your background once you're done. 
Now I showed this in lesson two, but another fun way to apply the ink to the surface is just creating a dry ink smooshed background. And this is just taking your ink pad and running it right on the surface there. Now if you do this a lot in your projects, I had mentioned you, you're going to want to purchase a reinker with your ink pad, and that way you can keep your ink pad juicy by refilling it, and it's just going to extend the life of your ink. So I'm going to go in here with a lot of different inks from my product line, kind of that whole rainbow, and I'll create a background just going up the side of the card. I just love how bold this color is when you run it onto the surface of the background, and it creates a more messy look. So if you don't love this, you can definitely create more of a watercolor look by adding water to the ink before you add it onto the surface. So to get these small stripes, I just go in with the ink pad, kind of tilt it on its side there, and use that nice corner that it has, and then I'm just going to kind of blend those colors together and create little streaks down the card. And I'll finish off the card at the top with Triple Berry, which is that super vibrant purple color. Once I'm done with all this, I've sprayed my surface, and you can again take some more of that ink to create a really colorful background there. And this is going to be a great background to put a critter on later on. Now another fun way to apply the water onto your surface to lift the color off is by using the Distress Sprayer. Now this one's really cool because it has a nozzle where you can get a really fine mist if you want to right over top of your whole project like that. But if you want to add some more droplets, it's easier to just pull the trigger slightly and then you can create some larger droplets onto your project that's going to react really nicely and create a really cool texture with your ink. So you can see that as this reacts, it kind of pulls off some of that color and wicks away. And I'm going to go in with my heat tool and just heat this up to kind of speed up the process of drying. And as you do that, you can create some of that lighter color in there by heating it and it'll just intensify that lighter color. So this is a really great background with lots of color. I love the vibrancy of that color by running it right on the surface there. And adding that water really wicks away that color to create a whole nother level of texture and color on your project. Now I'm going to share how to use my inks on the surface of your craft sheet with a water brush to color in some images and create a really awesome look with more detailed coloring. And I'm going to be using an image from my Dudes 2 stamp set. I just love this stamp set. It has three different heads and three different bodies, as well as tons of little images to use. Um, but you can customize it to different areas and stamp the bodies and heads together however you want. So in this one, I created this little guy. So to do my coloring, I'm going to start off by creating a palette with my inks. To do this, I'm just going to take the colors. So here I'm taking Bee Sting, and I'm just going to rub that onto the surface of my craft sheet here. And that's just going to create a really simple palette of colors. And I can just apply whatever color I'm going to use right onto the surface. You can really do this on any non-porous surface, but this craft sheet is a special surface. And when you add water, it kind of beads up and creates that really perfect amount of color to use. So now I'm going to go in with the fine detail water brush, and I can start my water coloring. So for a skin tone, what I like to do is take Woof, which is that nice brown color, and I'll mix that in with a little bit of Over the Moon. And that's going to create a nice skin tone for you to use when you're coloring in your images. So then I'm just going to go in here and start painting my image right in. Now I'm doing this on a piece of Ranger watercolor cardstock. This is super nice because it has a smooth surface to it. So I can totally stamp my image on top and get a really nice impression. And then I can go in and color it. And this is going to take the inks with a little bit more water really nicely. And then since I'm impatient, I'll go in here and heat set this to quickly heat dry that image so you can move on to the rest of your card. But I really love how that looks when you're watercoloring your image in. And you can create some really great color blends when you're using the color on the surface. And of course, after you're done coloring, there's still some excess ink. So you can create some really awesome backgrounds by spraying that and dipping your paper right into it. Thanks for joining me in this lesson all about my inks and how to use it on the surface to do some really cool ink smooshing and watercolor techniques to color in your images or create some really fun and playful backgrounds. I cannot wait to see what you guys create with some of my inks and images to color them in as well. So be sure to upload your images to the gallery and I'll see you guys soon for the next lesson. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.